Good evening, and welcome to the news tonight at 6, TV presenter DR Christian Yesen has been ordered to pay damages of £125,000 to Arlene Foster for posting an, outrageous, defamatory tweet which made unfounded claims that the First Minister of Northern Ireland was having an extramarital affair. Delivering judgment in the case at the High Court in Belfast, Mr Justice McClendon accepted that the false tweet by the celebrity doctor had cut Mrs Foster, to the core. Mrs. Foster sued the celebrity medic, best known for appearing in the Channel 4 show Embarrassing Bodies, for defamation for the tweet he posted on December 23, 2019, making the false allegation of an affair to his 300,000-plus followers. The tweet remained online until Dr. Yesen deleted it on January 7, 2020. I consider that it was an outrageously bad libel Mr. Justice McClendon delivering judgment, Mr. Justice McClendon said to state that a woman married for 25 and a half years and a mother of three children, who is a committed Christian and who is recognized as such, and who has publicly made statements extolling the importance and sanctity of marriage, who also happens to be the leader of the Democratic Unionist Party and a holder of the office of First Minister of Northern Ireland, was an adulterer, a hypocrite and a homophobe is a most serious libel and is grossly defamatory. It is an outrageous libel concerning an individual of considerable standing, attacking her integrity at the most fundamental level, and it involves the trashing in a very public fashion of the relationship that Mrs. Foster holds dearest in her life. It affected core aspects of her life, namely her relationship with her husband, her deep Christian faith, it called into question her fitness and suitability to occupy the office of First Minister at a time when delicate negotiations were continuing on the re-establishment of the Northern Ireland Executive. In short, I consider that it was an outrageously bad libel. Mr. Justice McClendon continued, The offending tweet remained on the defendant's Twitter account for two weeks, a Twitter account with 311,000 followers. The tweet was liked approximately 3,500 times and it was retweeted 517 times. The fact that the defendant failed to take down the offending tweet was the subject of mainstream media coverage. This outrageously bad libel cut her, Mrs. Foster, to the core, causing her considerable upset, distress, humiliation, embarrassment and hurt. Bearing in mind the time of year and the work-related pressures the plaintiff was under at that time, I fully accept this libel took a heavy emotional toll despite her experience of dealing with the heat of robust political debate. Her marriage, her family life and her faith are the most important things in her life. These things provide important pillars of support and it was these things that were publicly trashed. Another news, COVID-19 vaccination program opens for everyone 18 and over in knee, English, Australia, has the reports.